One of the things that I'm, I'm looking forward to is the upcoming faculty conference uh, and, and hearing all, all of the talks which are really uh, based on he Hebrews and the importance of faith, different aspects we'll be looking at. My particular take is going to be on the reasonableness of faith. A lot of times people, when you bring up faith, it's sort of this generic thing. You know, faith in Christ is a species of a, of a largest, larger genus called faith. You gotta have faith. Uh, you gotta believe in something, the bumper sticker says, I believe I'll have another beer. A lot of people just sort of give up on any notion of faith having an objective object. But what do you have faith in? You have faith in wood fairies? Do you have faith uh, in, in the fire department? Do you have faith? In, what do you have faith in? You have faith in the doctor who's operating on you? Well, yeah, why? Well, the credentials. You have to look at the credentials in order to make a responsible decision about what to believe in. And it is not the case that when you come to questions of religion, you're now in the field of warm sweaters and Christmas trees and um, sweet dreams. We're in the realm of what's reasonable. We're in the realm here of evidence and the resurrection of Jesus Christ can be shown to be true historically. And that is the center of our faith. If Christ is not raised, then we are of all people the most to be pitied. Not, if Christ is not raised, well, haven't you had a better life? Or haven't you had some wonderful experiences? Or, well, it, it's better than it could have been because you were a Christian. No, if Christ isn't raised, then we're duped. We're foolish people. And so the only reason to believe in Jesus Christ is because of his credentials because he is the savior of the world, not because we think he is, but because history tells us he is.